Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So welcome to part two. Give these videos a thumbs up if you want to see more. I'm not sure if you like these videos. If you do, give them a thumbs up and I'll keep putting more up. This is the second part uh, out with Team Sky. I've got Richie Port in the back. Um, Bomber down Gorge Road here again. We're gonna go up Corkscrew. The lads wanna check out the Corkscrew again. Uh, a lot of them have been here for three weeks. They came to Adelaide at such a good training ground. A little bit of base base Ks, base smiles. Come down to Adelaide, do a bit of recon work for two and under 2014, checking out the course. It's part of the marginal gains philosophy. Learn the climbs. Here we are on the Corkscrew Road. This will feature, I think, in stage four, stage five. It's going to be about 8Ks before the finish, so it's a pretty important climb to learn. We've got a couple of AG2R riders tacked on there as well. We're just ticking away here, but uh, Philip and Richie went up the road at about 6.5 watts per kilo. They fucking hammered it, spinning, spinning like a washing machine that's fallen off its fucking rails. They were just flying up here. You can see here, out the saddle, different muscle groups used. Some of the guys are spinning, some of the guys are just chilling. We're doing about four and a half watts per kilo here. Four and a half watts per kilo. How do I know that? Because I've got a power meter on my bike, just as these guys do. Having a power meter is great because I'm pretty fatigued in this video. I was I've done like 260 Ks the day before, 1500 Ks the week before. So when I, I got on the back of these lads, I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, I'm gonna get dropped. But I looked at the power and I thought 4.5 watts per kilo I know I can do that. But without my power meter, it's easy to talk yourself down and go, oh, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with Team Sky and the ag 2 r boys up the corkscrew road after doing, you know, a few thousand Ks in the last few weeks. I can't do that. I'm too fatigued. But the power meter gave me the permission to keep on riding. It said, Harley, you can fucking do it. Keep on spitting. So I was sitting in the saddle most of the way up because I had a few complaints last time with the video. I said, Harley, it's a bit shaky. Next time I want you to sit in the saddle and spin it up the corkscrew. Give us some real bird's eye footage. So this is what it would look like if you're in the in the race or out in the training. You can see, uh, looks like Bernard Eisel there, I think, on the left. Um, Stannard and Rowe and Philip and uh, CJ Sutton. Actually, I think it's CJ on the left there. I think he just had a crash and busted his wrist up. That's the thing with pro cycling. It's the most hardcore professional sport out there. It's so fucking dangerous. It's so painful. The amount of hours you have to put in for training is crazy, man. It's fucking hardcore. It's the most hard sport on the planet. I can't think of any sport that hurts as much, is as dangerous, and you're exposed to the elements. I mean, soccer, they play fucking soccer indoors. <laughs> the AFL Australian Mills football, they have a lot of time out. You don't know fucking time out up a hill. You just fucking got to keep smashing that motherfucker. See, it's pro cycling is hardcore, man. I do not envy the life of a pro cyclist. It is cutthroat. It is suffer. You break your fucking legs. You bust your collarbones. It's just fucking nasty, man. But I appreciate the work that goes into it. So you can hear, you see the Frenchie on the right here spinning. Just doing it easy. Just spinning. Uh, nice cadence. Here we're going to Monocute Road. This is another reason I could never be a pro. This road I've done probably over a thousand times. I know this road better than almost anyone. These guys, maybe the tenth time they've done it. But they're flying down here, just cruising. They're just chatting, talking on the back. You've got to take immense risk to be a professional rider. You have to be not be scared of crashing. Look at this corner here. You can see that they're gapping me. They're gapping me just there. And now I have to put it at down wattages to catch back on. That's valuable sugar burnt. You want to burn as little sugar as possible because sugar is your most valuable fuel when it comes to laying down the power. So if you keep doing little accelerations, you burn up your sugars. You want to stay in a fat burning zone so you can go hard when it matters. Going out the corkscrew for the second time round. Again, I looked at my power meter. I'm having a little look up there. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Koalas or something. There you go. There's Duran Rider. Probably, I'm not sure what's going on there, but we'll keep it in there. Again, I looked at my power meter and I thought, I can do this 4.5 watts per kilo. I can hang on. I'll be able to hang on. 
Um, but a friendly bunch of guys. We're having a chat. We're, at this point, we're talking about diet. We're talking about the vegan diet and the banana diet. Some of the lads are asking some questions. Um, friendly bunch. Down-to-earth team. And representing... There's not many pro sports we can actually talk to people. A lot of pro athletes are pretty fucking stuck up. But these Team Sky lads, pretty down-to-earth. It was, it was pretty refreshing to see that. I know local riders, even some interstate riders... <laughs> They think they fucking own the road. It's crazy. But you got guys like Team Sky down to earth. You know, down to earth. Just happy to answer questions. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, pretty cool to see. So we've got the first hairpin on Corkscrew Road. This is going to be a good place to watch. Always a good climb to watch. It's, uh, it's a pretty steep climb. It's a pretty steep climb. Um, if you haven't done it before, my secret to Corkscrew is just ease into it. Have a power meter. Power meters are so important because they teach you how to pace. They teach you how to pace. You can't rely on average speed at all. Average speed means nothing, really. It means nothing. You want to go by your power, especially when it comes to climbing. You need to go have a, get a power meter on there and just ride to the wattage. And you'll quickly learn after a few weeks what you can and can't do. So the only reason I got up here, I'll be honest with you, is because of my power meter. My power meter said that the wattage these guys are going to do, I can do it. I said it before, I'll say it again. Power meter is the fucking game changer. Here we have Richie Poor on the back. He came down to greet us. He just banged out like a 710 or 730 up corkscrew. Fucking flying up there. And he didn't even look too fatigued. So there's Richie Poor on the right. Stannard on the left. And uh, you can see different cycling builds there. Very tall Stannard. And uh, a shorter rider of Richie Poor. But both climbing exceptionally well it is very hot that day it's almost like Thailand it's weird I've never climbed corkscrew with such heat and humidity you can see the sweat glistening off the legs hot day we're coming up the copper corkscrew um, good fun man it's just great getting that fresh air Adelaide's so good to ride with here's the team car up top ready for drinks and refreshments some carbs for the lads to keep the glycogen stores topped up. There we go. That's the end of that little video there. Little holiday snaps of Duran. That's that photo on Instagram. Someone's like, hang on, I thought you said you were not there. Where are you? I turned into a ghost. I got so protein deficient, according to Dr. Lustig. <laughs> good fun, good fun. If you want to see more of these videos, give this video a thumbs up. I've got heaps of footage with different teams this week. It's a great week, Adelaide Down Under. If you've never been here before, it's the best week in cycling, in my opinion. Thanks for watching.